Hi, I'm Emily XR Pan, author of The Astonishing Color of After, and today I'm going to talk to you about revision, one of my favorite things. I think of writing a first draft as the process of digging up all the clay. And once I've got the clay, once I've got my material, then I can move on to the process of really sculpting and refining. So I want to talk through my tips for big picture revisions. And that starts with figuring out what are the problems in your manuscript. The first thing I do to begin the revision process is make a bullet point list of all the scenes in my novel. I also do this for short stories, but it works especially well for long form projects where it feels like I've got an overwhelming amount to look at. So I break the whole thing down. I go scene by scene, chapter by chapter, and I write just a very short summary of the salient points. Once I have that whole list written out, that is a bird's eye view and I can look down and I can easily see this is where there are pacing issues. This is where the character's emotional logic falls apart. Or I'm going on a detour in my plot and I actually don't need it. It's also a great way to notice if you're inconsistent. Maybe you have your characters for the first half of your story journeying in one direction and then the second half of the book they completely veer in another direction and the two don't make sense. If you've set up something important did you pay it out successfully? So these are all the things that I'm checking for when I go through that bullet point list. I call that my re-outline. I'll go in and write, okay, this scene needs to be tweaked so that I can weave in more of this character's backstory. I put that in red so I can easily at a glance see it. And maybe every time I need to pull in the stakes more clearly, I mark that in blue. And that becomes my roadmap. I actually do the re-outlining process at the start of every revision round. So I write my whole draft, I sit down and make my list, and I figure out the big problems. And then based off the new iteration of my outline that then has all my notes in it of weave this in better or cut out this character entirely. Once I've got all those notes written out, I use that to write my next draft. Once I've gotten my next draft to be as complete and done as possible, I start the whole re-outlining process again. Lather, rinse, repeat. I try to get it to the point where there's nothing more I can wring out of this process on my own before I send it to friends, to my agent, to my editor. I also do this process using different mediums. So when I'm on my computer looking at the screen, I prefer to write in Scrivener. Scrivener has a split screen function and that makes it really easy to have my novel, my chapter or short story on one screen and right next to it, the re-outline that I'm making. But my favorite way to do this is actually to write it down on index cards. Each index card is one bullet point item. So I end up with a whole stack of index cards that tells my entire story and then I'll lay it out on the floor or I'll stick it up on a wall and that allows me to physically map out the entire book. I can see how my characters are moving. I can see all the different pieces that are fitting together. And when it's up on a wall, I can be like, oh, this scene is not working. Let me take that card down off of the wall and write a new one and put it in its place. Or let me move things around and it becomes like, I'm playing with puzzle pieces. And oftentimes, once I've figured out what my new roadmap is, what the scenes are that I need to rewrite from scratch, I will sit down and write them longhand. And I don't even look at the screen, I don't even look at the material that I've already written in order to do this. Writing by longhand shakes something free in my head. It makes me think really differently about things. I'm a chronic rewriter, and people often say to me, I don't know how you do that, it feels so scary, I can't believe you would rewrite an entire book from scratch. And the thing is when we say from scratch, we're thinking of the, the terrifying blank page and all that work that we've already done, it feels like we've thrown it in the trash. But I don't feel that a single word I've written previously has been wasted. Everything I've written in the past, whether it is visible 
in the final product or not, functions as scaffolding to help me build up to my ultimate vision. And so when I'm in the process of rewriting, my brain is accessing all of that scaffolding that I've done in the past. I've worked through character relationships. I've figured out histories that are really important to the nuances that then go into my new sentences. And so with the idea of a new scene's shape in my head, I can sit down and write it in my notebook without looking at anything else I've done before. And that is so often where the magic happens. Many writers think of revision as being the not fun part. And I think the reason for that is because the sense of discovery often feels like it's gone and it's no longer about finding that initial spark and being surprised by it. And I think that this is where writing longhand and stepping away from what I've already drafted really serves me because I get to discover new sparks when I'm not looking at the material that already exists. I always end up with something really surprising if I give myself that distance and then I'll write a new scene or even just a paragraph and it lights a new fire that then allows my revision to feel just as fresh. I think of the revision process as this wonderful adventure. So I really hope that the tips in this video might inspire you to try something new.